first of all, we are very proud <clears throat> about the winning the prize. We think that the, the Lee Kuan Yew World City Prize is the more important prize for cities in the world. And we have the proud to win the special mention in 2014 and now to win the prize. And it's not only the um, later two years, but it's a um, transformation that took maybe two decades. And 20 years ago, Medellin was the most violent city in the world. And now we persevere and we have a continuous work, not only one government, but several governments to make that transformation. A transformation of a city, a real transformation of a city, a real transformation of a society uh, took several governments, and not only one. Uh, we uh, make like a very simple, but at the same time complex formula. It is for transformate a society, you need several good governments, successive, synchronized. You need, you need these four key factors. And uh, in, our, in our city, is not the same party government, is not the same person, but in these 20 years, we have, uh, we have to put this uh, formula in action. I think Medellin has been able to develop a kind of social planning process with a strong participatory involvement of the communities and with the strong leadership of uh, many stakeholders from the society, not only public but private and academics and social sectors that understood in the past, in the critical moments, that we're, we have become a kind of uh, unviable society. So through collective work since the 80s and 90s, since the end of the 80s and in the beginning of the 90s, in the mo worst moment of our society, we started to work collectively to uh, build together the solutions and the options for the city. So along these years we have had a kind of collective project with continuity, with coherence, like Mr. Gaviria has explained. And uh, that's the reason why we have been able to superate those moments and to be uh, a city for illusion, a city for life as it is today. The, com the commitment of the community started with a participatory process involving all them and uh, uh, making them part of the, of the city process because uh, from the past what we had was a kind of a city of dwellers because there were a lot of people but not a lot of citizens. So we developed a kind of citizenship through that participatory process and now with the commitment of the communities we have been able to transform that conflicts and that uh, difficult moments into positive ones. So the best and the most important challenge we still face is to have economic growth and social development for inclusion and to superating all the critical problems of inequality that we still have inside our society. The, the challenge is to have continuity in that and to um, maintain the commitment of the citizens and all, all the stakeholders to work together in, in that sense. But I think the data, the indexes of the city has become very positive in terms of superation of extreme poverty, of poverty, of inequality, and through the construction of public-like life, we have been able to transform many senses of our society. We have learned that uh, social inclusion and social development is also economic development. So the private stakeholders has, has understood that supporting the public and supporting the city, they are also have better results for the businesses. So uh, as, a, as, a, as a good practice for the cities of the world today, Berlin can show that this process of integration, this process of uh, collective work has become 
positive also for our own economy.